Go to it. Hello YouTubes, it's time to stop beating about the bush and find out if the cause of my cylinder misfire is a worn out camshaft. In order to do this, I will need to remove my valve cover, which lives down there somewhere. Pretty much starts down here, goes all the way to the back. And as you can see, there's bits and bobs in the way. I need to unplug all my coils, remove the coils. Don't need to remove the spark plugs. There is a wiring loom that goes all the way across there. I need to get that out of the way. I've got the aircon pipes in the way. I've got this pipe in the way, but I can I can swivel that round. That's my brake booster pipe. Obviously, I've got my oil intake, oil filler assembly in the way, but hopefully I can move this up out that way and out of this hole. At least that's the plan. I did it before, so I know it's possible. But I'm not going to bore you with that disassembly. That's not what today's video is all about. Today is all about getting to the bottom of this misfire problem. So I'll bring you back once the cover's off and we'll have a good inspection, right? A little update for you all. I cannot get that valve cover out between the oil filler and the brake. There's just not enough room and I couldn't figure out how I managed to get it done before. Well, that's because the last time I took the valve cover off, I was actually doing the timing chain and replacing some valves. So I had to get everything off the top to get the heads off. And obviously if I had the, the intake manifold off, I've got a lot more room. So I can either remove the brake booster and risk damaging the pipes and then risk damaging my back from crawling inside and under the steering wheel to get access to those bolts. Or I can remove the intake manifold, which is about 10, 12 little bolts that hold that down and that is connected to that. So that whole thing will be out of the way. I think it might also be attached to this. I might have to remove the alternator also, but I still would rather do that than remove that. So that's what I'm doing. Get all that out of the way and then finally get into the valves and test them. Fun times. I would just like to say thank you Chrysler for, for putting these connections right at the back of the intake to make it that little bit more of a challenge. So thanks for that. So with a bit of luck, we should now be able to get this valve cover off unrestricted like so. I'm pretty sure something just fell. I'm missing one screw so that's probably where it is oh well i'll find it don't worry so anyway finally have access to look at the valves going up and down or hopefully going up and down so this is everything i removed in order to get access to remove the valve cover if you know an easier way leave a comment so that other people don't have to go through the pain i just went through okay valve test all the coil plugs, injector plugs on both sides are removed. The fuel pump fuse removed. Need to reconnect the battery. Set up the camera so you can see what's going on down there. So this is the suspect valve we are looking at. We're wanting to compare the height of this compared to the height of the ones at either side. When the spring is fully up, that's when the valve is closed. When the spring is down the way, it's open, allowing fuel in. So if this is not going down as far as that one or that one, then we know there's something wrong with the, the camshaft and lifter. Let's give it a go. Slow motion. Well, that looks absolutely fine to me, which is kind of good news. It means hopefully I'm not going to have to take the heads off, but it, it does put us back to 
not exactly square one because we are crossing off all the possible errors could it be a knock sensor issue and i think that's the knock sensors we can see in the center there's like four of them you know i think one uh, two cylinders share one knock sensor it's possible so here we go again leave a comment what would you do next i'm not going to build the engine back up or put the intake back on i may as well check all the wiring that i can now see but could this be an aux sensor issue if that is an aux sensor i'm purely guessing but that's kind of what they look like i'm kind of happy and sad the puzzle continues just to confirm what i was talking about i'm guessing that these are the knock sensors and as you can see there are four of them and they do sit in a fairly volatile place lots of heat and dirt and stuff getting in there so it's possible as i say i'm going to check the wiring and also check and see how much they cost to replace which is going to be far less than a cam and lifter set that alone is over a thousand dollars and then you get head gaskets and all sorts if you start taking heads off and then water pump gaskets and exhaust oh my goodness the list goes on so it was actually lee mckenzie in australia i think he's in australia he suggested the knock sensor if you turn out to be right you're definitely getting a prize uh, lee actually sent me the electric motor conversion a couple of years ago for bugsy you might remember that i'll stick a link up there so thanks lee and thanks for your continued uh, support and help okay i think i need to invest in a new multimeter if i'm going all electrical diagnosis this tiny little thing look at the size of it it's, it's just not cutting the mustard so i do have one this isn't this isn't a hint but i do have one on my amazon wish list and if you go and check it out and just let me know if i'm on the right track if that's going to do the job uh, it's very similar to one that uh, solar garage has um hey bill link up there for bill ah oh, why not and just have a wee look at it uh, especially you bill because you know what you're talking about and let me know if that's the right thing and if it doesn't it does if no one buys it for me i'll buy it by the end of the day tomorrow okay again not a hint but uh, you know i'd appreciate it because this thing is just bleeding me dry anyways you can tell i'm a bit happier today because i think my cam and lifters are okay yay right folks i will see you online uh, with all your more suggestions and i really hope it's an aux sensor because that's a relatively easy fix i'm, I'm in there already and you go to rock auto see how much they are and i'll get back to you asap bye for now drive safe